Spaces Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Falling Stars, which is our Star Sign Solar System Legacy Challenge, and the babies are here, which happened very fast. I don't think, I think we're going to get a nasty call from Kyoshi to be like, well, it's rude that you didn't come see me. I did, Dad. We came over, but then I wouldn't call her my girlfriend, really. We just lived together and knocked her off. I'm like, whatever. Anyway, I had babies, so. um. Yeah, and they age up tomorrow, thank God, because we hate babies. But then we can, like, do whatever. Uh, we have to get engaged and marry... Well, okay, get engaged within a week. Okay, the babies were literally just born. And then, because it was Christmas, and then they literally just were born on Friday, right? Today is Friday, but I mean, like, they just were happy... They just today... Today in Sims time, not today in recording time. Um... So, married and engaged, technically she's supposed to be engaged by Friday, and then married by Summerfest, but Love Day is Friday, so maybe we'll try to get engaged and then get married on Love Day. Um, I kind of want to, I mean, we'll see, but I was kind of thinking, because we kind of have to rush it a little bit, just because... It took so long to get to GeekCon and have our meet cute. Um, so we just have to technically get engaged and married by Firework Festival. So before the fall happens. Um, and then uh, Taco needs to move in, but we're going to end up moving out. So... We'll have to move somewhere else because this place isn't going to be big enough. And I kind of think we should have the... Oh, someone in her family died. Oh, did that happen before we moved you in or after? I don't remember, but anyway. Oh, you're tired. I was going to actually have you, like... Why don't you try to, can you, I think you need to have some romance with her. Cause I don't think we're going to be able to like, cause we barely have any romance. I just feel like you're going to need to. Don't try for baby. I just... Noisy neighbors. Yeah, they're going to keep our babies awake, which is going to suck. Which could also be why we decide to move and stuff like that. But I think for this, it'll be good. Like, we move out because of the noisy neighbors and the fact that we're getting divorced after rushing to get married. And... I just want the romance to be up enough... Because I need them to be able, I need him to be able to, like, maybe they could, no, I guess, more choices, romance, let's just go woohoo, I mean, oh, okay. I was going to try to throw that out, but we don't have a trash can up here. And like, can I bring it to that apartment? There you go. <laughs> there is now a diaper. Oh, that's technically ours, I guess. All right. Well, there's no garbage can up here. I guess we need to get one. Hold on. I'm gonna go into buy mode real quick. We're gonna need to get like baby stuff too, but I think what I'm gonna do grab another one of these. Flap it here. This way we can uh <clears throat> choke into death and the bird's jamming his head in my esophagus. Um this way we can just do that, it'll be easier. <laughs> too hard to like function tap because I might my computer now. I miss the old one where like the page up and down wasn't locked in a function or like whatever 
microphone button. It's just easier than having to be like, function it, and then you can't do, and then, I don't know, it's annoying. It, the page up, page down buttons were on their own, and now they're attached to number keys, and I don't like that. No, why don't you go to sleep? Assign left side to Ivy. I wonder if they're going to do this whole, like, they can't sleep in the same bed because, like, whatever shit. All right. I feel like he's going to be the one taking care of the babies more often because he absolutely is. Kiss Cloud's forehead. Our little baby. How adorable. More choices. Feed him. Okay. Aerith's fine. And I'm just going to point out that Aerith is not my favorite in like Final Fantasy VII. I like Tifa better. Aerith is just not like the character that I normally like. She's, like, fine, but she's, like, the super cutesy, adorable, sweet, kind of perfect and wholesome, and I just kind of over that. Like, that's just so... I don't know. Tifa's got a little more spunk, but Cloud and Aerith just rolls off the tongue easier than Cloud and Tifa for some fucking reason. So. You know. And I just figured, because we had to have a boy and a girl, and I just really like the idea of having our son be named Cloud. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I just like it. Like, what were they thinking when they made Final Fantasy VII? They're like, let's call him Cloud. Yeah, that sounds legit. It's just... Oh, it's so funny. I love it. But I kind of liked that idea. You know, because it's kind of noticeable. It's like, there's a ton of names that you can name it, and you're like, well, what game did that come from? But Cloud's pretty fucking obvious. You know what I mean? Um, And it kind of only fit that we had should have, you know, his twin sister should also be named... Somebody from Final Fantasy 7 too, and that's just so. I was like, that works for me. Don't get me wrong, fans of the channel. I was considering naming them Date and Junko because Junko from uh, Danganronpa, because she's my favorite freaking Danganronpa character. Or, and then Date from uh, I the Somnium Files, but you know. Cloud just kind of stands out a little bit more and is a little odd, like funnier and odder to me okay i'm just gonna cheat your need up because you're driving me crazy with the fact that you wouldn't sleep like i get it maybe it's because ivy's there i don't know how you can't decorate though i hate that because you live in an apartment um that's true. What do you have to do for work? Oh, you've already done that. Can you socialize? Check for pen pal, pal replies. We've already gotten... You already asked for them. Okay. Write a letter to Twinbrook. We've already got Sunset Valley... We haven't done Moonlit Falls yet. Lunar Lakes, Appaloosa Plains, Lucky Palms. Um, oh, we do have Moonlit Falls. And I think we already wrote one to Dragon Valley. We're waiting on the postcard from them. Possibly. Can't get our mail yet. Congratulations on the babies. Thanks. You should come over and visit them. Uh, oh. She's actually going to go take care of the baby. She's taking care of Cloud. Oh my god, it's so annoying. Like, I kind of miss the days where the diapers just disappeared. So, thanks stupid fucking infants for making it annoying. They used to not leave the shit everywhere. And now because of fucking infants, they leave it everywhere. And it's annoying as balls. Anyway. I need to make sure that we can, um... I do wish that we could compliment her appearance. And can I just tell you, like, because I never play with female sims, like, whatever, but that, like, the little 
lingerie kind of pack, the underwear and stuff like that. This looks like custom content. It's from that pack. It's goddamn beautiful. Like, like I was looking for stuff and I'm like, oh, we should put something sexy on her, you know? And then I was like, this is really nice. Like, it's beautiful. Like, she's checking her phone, like, debate best captains. Flirtation. I do wish that we could, uh, we could whisper seductively. You know, because we're in this, like, uh, I, it's not that I'm trying to get their romance up too far. I just really do want them to be able to get engaged. And I kind of wish we could get engaged without having our romance up that high. But we really can't. You know what I mean? We have to. I like the fact that he likes decorating and making resolutions, and she likes partying and counting down to midnight. I don't know where in the world it would even be once we can. Oh, you know what? We. Uh. These babies are fucking pissing me off. They're more annoying than infants. They have not stopped crying since they were born. Likes flirtation. Good. Did someone just show up? Oh, no, that was because she got a thing. We have to... I don't think we can... We have to ask her... To be our girlfriend first. And I... Um, we can give her a kiss. Physical intimacy. Hold hands. I need these babies to, like, stop screaming at me for five seconds because I'm trying to get your parents. <gasps> Ask her to be your girlfriend. Okay. Talk about marriage. Let's see what happens with that. Kaluba. Oh, she was not into the flirting, which is weird. I don't know if I can cheat it. I kind of just need them to be engaged because, like, they don't have a really good romance. You know what I mean? So I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I don't know why she likes flirtation, but she didn't like that flirting. I, oh, she didn't seem to mind the romance. The, uh... <gasps> Propose! There you go! It's more like... Oh my god, she, talking about marriage got her all hyped up. You know what? This is the honeymoon phase. They just had kids. Like, you know what I mean? They're just... New Year's Eve in front of our babies. Oh god, if she rejects him. Oh, I love it. I'm actually kind of glad because I'm like, yes, I want them to be just like you know, ridiculously in love with each other and it's crazy and stupid and, like, this way... You know, it makes more sense than, like, Indiana's feeling particularly loyal. Oh. Yeah, but she's not. He's like, I am loyal! Yeah, until you find out that your girlfriend's gonna cheat on you. But, like, to be fair, it's not you. And I don't want to paint poor Ivy as, like, a horrible person. She just got stuck in this role. I'm sorry, sweetie, that you just got stuck in this role. You were the hot person that he was really, really, really in love with at uh, the Comic-Con, at GeekCon. And, like, for God's sakes, your children are going to be gorgeous because look at her. She is goddamn fucking beautiful. Like, my female sims are born and they kind of, like, they're cute, but they look kind of like toads. But she's gorgeous, so... Bravo to whoever made her parents, because I'm pretty sure she was born in game, but like, obviously, because this is, I forget which save version, whose save that this was. I forgot. Somebody knows, and I told you in the very beginning. I wrote it down, but was this Isle Rue save, or was this a different one? I know one of them was Isle Rue save, and then there was a freaking another one that I got down, and 
two different I have two different save files that I downloaded, but I can't remember what the other one was. So I apologize for if I'm getting whichever save wrong this is. But anyway, they went through and got a lot of Sims. Um, and I got I forget her name. There was there is a Sims creator who makes a lot of really pretty female Sims. I used to get them a lot. Uh, download them a lot and add them into the games because they're just really cute. But um, I think that's who Ivy's mom might have been or one of her parents um, was one of those Sims. But like... Oh, okay. So, well, Wu Yan Yi, that poor Sim got called. So Avery Mayfield was probably someone's sim that they put in, and she might have been a teenager. Unfortunately, this poor sim's cold, and then I'm assuming that these were... Because, like, they put in a bunch of, like, all the different houses and stuff, and then, like, the save file was filled with a bunch of different sims from the gallery and different families and stuff. So she was created by from two different people, from probably two different creators, families that were put in and then the game just created her so she was born in game but her genetics are a result of people who made two sims that you know what i mean you, you get what i'm saying my god what the hell my brain doesn't know what i'm saying but you know um like i can take full credit for indiana because well not really full credit because you know the sims team made yoshi and you know, she's just gorgeous. So I can take care of half your genetics because, you know, I made Colorado and I made Ashton. No. Well, Ashton was Colorado, but, um, uh, what the hell? Ashton's father. Well, I can't I remember. Whatever. Anyway, I made them. You know, Colorado made Ashton, and then Ashton made Taco with Albert. So actually, you really can only take care of part of your genetics. But still, you know, still, I can take credit for your genetics because it went back to Colorado, and he's gorgeous, and everybody loves Colorado. Not everybody. So like when the horse ranch pack comes out, if we get more Colorado for that pack. Everybody here that loves Colorado should just thank my sister for that. Because she's, for some reason, likes Colorado. For some reason, everybody loves Colorado. But, like, is the one who was like, I can't wait to see Colorado's horse ranch adventures. I wasn't thinking about it, but now I am. Thanks a lot. So, although I'm not going to lie, I have considered when the infants came out, we should do a younger Colorado. We had the young Colorado Chronicles when he was in, like, university but we could have the younger colorado chronicles and it could be raising colorado and like and then i was like maybe we could tie that in with horse ranch and like i'll have to make colorado's parents and we can make colorado an infant and we have to raise colorado <laughs> to be a teenager at least until he turns into a young adult and then it's like then that's where it ends <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, it would work perfectly. Think about it. I mean, let's just be real. Colorado growing up on a horse ranch. Yeah! That makes so much sense! And, like, I didn't do it with Growing Together because I have other games. Barging in here, but don't mind me. We're practically best friends, right? I'm the best neighbor around. Not sure where the other neighbors are avoiding me. I mean, I guess, ma'am. Thanks. More choices, friendly, gossip, let's just gossip, gossip about neighbors, gossip about, you know, whatever. So they're having a grand time. The babies are fine. Um, I kind of just want to get them married now so she can just cheat and we can get out. But uh, I'm going to hopefully try, I mean, they got engaged, so that's all I care about. I would like to them to at least be married by Love Day. Uh, wouldn't Love Day be the perfect day for a poor Indiana to come home and find his baby mama wife, like, cheating on him? Because let's be real. 
again, I mean, she's going to be the one that's turning out to be the asshole because she's cheating on him. But, like, Indiana's a single and loving it. And, like, now I think that's changed. Well, I don't know how well that's going to work. Because this is not how we expected things to go. It just kind of happened. And sure, like, engaged. Yeah, he's fine about it. A little less single. He's not enjoying that himself. Because he hasn't... He didn't make that choice. I might get rid of the single and loving it thing because, like, later when he ends up with Christopher, right? Like, whatnot. But, like... He was young. He just moved to the city. He was living, and like I think this was the point where he was just wanted to be like single nerd, doing his own thing, not worried about it. And then he kind of like yeah met Ivy, and it was definitely attraction. She finds her attractive, and like all that stuff like that. But you know, it's kind of like yeah, and you, and then she's pregnant, and then we're here, and I'm doing the right thing. But like, am I? Because like this isn't what he wanted. Not that he doesn't like Ivy. I mean, obviously, they like, they get along pretty well. She not perfect, but he not perfect either. She's a snob, but he's also still kind of wanting to be single. And then, like, he still wants to be single. He's also focused on his career. So, like, he's going to be going to work all the time, like, doing a lot of work, working overtime, stuff like that. And, like, and because he's, this is like you, when you first meet someone like that, oh my God, it's all exciting. And then we go out all the time and we see each other constantly. And then you're like, and I hate you. I want to kill you. What the hell? Get out of my face. Like they're not in that rhythm of like comfort level of being around each other all the time. Like that's not, they don't have that comfort level. This is just new and exciting, the honeymoon phase. But once they get past that, you know, if you had dated normally, like, oh, I met her at GeekCon and it was awesome and we hung out and, like, then maybe if they dated a little, it would have been like, yeah, this isn't working. It's not right for either one of us type of a thing. Um, I love how they just go to talk. You need to learn how to parent, kiddo. Um, and maybe they would have realized they weren't really suited for each other, but that didn't happen because everything got rushed because of children. So, you know, fair. They're not perfectly matched. And, you know, they're, I, I think they're both at that point where they would, like, blame each other for everything that happens. You know, she's going to be like, you were never home. And he's like, well, I don't want, I wasn't ready for this. You know what I mean? So they both are not awful people, but they're both not really great. This is just not an ideal situation for them. And then once the, like, romance of, like, the honeymoon phase and all this stuff and then, like, having to take care of infants and the work and all that kind of sets in. Yeah. He has a pristine reputation. She's also a snob and, like, you know, even though she's geeky and they could be probably, they would have been good friends. I just don't think that, like, obviously we know the relationship was never going to work out. Not meant to. I just feel really bad. This is just me feeling bad because like you want to be like, Indiana is the perfect sweet little angel. He never did anything wrong. I mean, you kind of did. You kind of rushed into a relationship and knocked someone up. I mean, that was an accident, but like, you know, not handling this appropriately. And you're going to be throwing yourself into work and stuff and your games and all of whatever, because that's the life you wanted instead of living the one that you have, which valid. But also, like, I just feel bad because poor Ivy, she didn't do anything wrong but be like, you were just there and Indiana found you attractive and you're beautiful so you'd make good kids and now you have to be the villain of the story. And I just feel bad because, you know, we don't really play with female sims, you know. I love my boys, so now we bring a female sim in and she's evil? And I just, that feels so wrong. It feels so wrong. Listen. He just so happened to find her very attractive, and she happens to actually be very attractive. And I want pretty babies. Because I'm shallow like that. So, you know. 
if she had been like kind of like oh yeah okay you and then there was a man that was super hot whatever it would have been the person you're the most that you're attracted to that i think is the best looking sim out here that's who he would have gotten stuck with so just happened to be ivy which again is just unfortunate because we don't play with female sims a lot and she is beautiful and now she's got to be the villain she got cheat and like whatever but you know, so I'm just throwing it out there that Indiana's not perfect either. It's not a good relationship for either one of them. Doesn't excuse what she's going to do. But, you know, Indiana also isn't the best. Festering bitterness? Who do you have a festering bitterness with? with Ivy? Oh, what did she do? What did she do? It's starting. Or do you have a festering bitterness because you don't want to get married? Also, it's weird because if you think about it. I can't believe our aunt is calling us to go visit. Or I can't, Bree. I don't have time. It's also 730. And I probably would have, but we have to like... Take care of our needs. We probably should have. It's their birthday! I do like the fact that she's actually taking care of her kids. I kind of want her to be like, hates children, so she doesn't. You know what I mean? One of my friends heard how great you are. You know what the funny thing is? And that could start it off too. So Junior's like gave Indiana's number to someone because didn't know that Indiana had a girlfriend slash fiance. And you know what I mean? Because it's like your fucking uncle, basically. You know? And this all just kind of happened. And especially like, oh yeah, like, I mean... Nine months, but like Sam's time is like two days. We've gotten married, we met, had babies, and got engaged in less than a week here. So like, and uh, and maybe like, no, because like Junior and uh, Bree have never met Ivy. So like, they're like, wait, what? Oh, oh, I didn't know he was seeing someone. Okay. Oh, what do you wait? What the hell? You know what I mean? The fact that our cousin is the same age as our children is very bizarre. Also, I'm really upset at myself because I'm pretty sure when Bree had her baby and it popped up and I was like, God damn it, and I just randomized it. Now we have Paris and Arlene. Arlene, you don't even fit in the naming convention. That's why we named Paris Paris. We don't have another name like that would have fit a female sim though. So Arlene it is. Whatever. Arlene, you're the fucking black sheep of a named after a location family. But I wonder if we should name every single person that comes up um, after, like, if for some reason Rio or London has kids or, like, Paris has kids. Because it'll pop up and say, like, because it'll get the pop-up so I can name them. So then we should just start naming them all video game characters, too. Just keep it all in line. Except for Arlene. Like, fuck Arlene. She doesn't get a new name. I might change her name. I don't know. I just, I was like, god damn it. Yeah, whatever. Random. I wasn't thinking about it. Um, but, like, I don't have any other... Well, we can name her Bristol. That kind of works. Sure. Now, God damn it, Bree, stop having fucking kids. Did someone say talk about expanding the family with her? I don't know, but anyway. Um, you need to go to bed. Although, oh, you know what you should do? I need you to make a resolution. Make a resolution. How about we? Okay. Promoted. As I was thinking about promoted. You can't read to children or socialize. Well, you could do that. 
think you could do that for 10 days. <laughs> Programming, I think I'm going to try to get the promotion for you because I think you should be able to do that. Make a resolution. We could have done get a significant other and then propose to her. Yeah. Oh, right. She's up here taking care of the babies. Well, technically, the babies, it's their birthday and they should age up, right? Yeah, we can do that. Um, are you tired? Why don't you go pee, grab a bath, then go to bed? Oh, actually, then you need to watch Countdown to Midnight. Hold on. Watch New Year's Eve TV. She's not going to make a resolution. He's good. I might have him... You might not have time to take a shower. I'll pay attention. No, I'm going to have you go that. And then you can watch New Year's Eve TV. Because I want you to get the countdown to midnight. Um, watch current channel. There you go. Okay, cool. Here we go. 30 minutes! 29 minutes! Could you imagine? That's what they start doing, but like... In Sims time, like, 10 seconds, we'd be like, blink, done. Are they gonna kiss after the countdown a minute? Are you gonna kiss her? Aww. Oh god, yeah, good lord, Indiana. Alright, there you go. Go to bed. You should probably, I'm gonna have you go take a shower, and then, or wash up, or whatever. No. You're gonna go to bed bed. The babies will just age up on their own, or whatever, I don't know. We'll have you go to sleep when you're done. She's gonna clean the sink. Are you a neat sim? No, but like, yet you're cleaning the sink instead of taking a bath. Whatever. Uh, more choices. Baby care. Change dirty diaper. Look at that. He was getting up anyway before I clicked on the baby. He's a crying baby. And now he's gonna go get some coffee. You could just go to bed instead. Oh, good lord. New Year's Eve was successful. Yes, it is. And you will get a promotion. More choices. Also, maybe that's why he drowns himself in work. Because, like, he ends up doing most of, like, the baby care. You know what I mean? Because I need him to get his parenting skill up. So I need her to be kind of hands off. She's going to keep doing it because Sims are like aren't assholes. Even the Sims who hate kids are like, let me take care of the baby. It's crying. That's so not a Sim who hates kids. Me doesn't like kids. But their baby is crying. Shut it up. Not all oh, the baby. So like, I don't know. I just think that Sims who hate kids should avoid children. Parenting level four, though. You're doing a good job. And I guess Aerith is the oldest. Well, I mean, it shows her as being the oldest, but I don't remember which... Oh, now Cloud's crying. Jesus motherfucking Christ. Bottle feed. He's gonna be hungry himself. Maybe you should learn to cook. I'm gonna have you take a bath, and then I will probably have you... Can you serve breakfast? You can make eggs and toast without hopefully burning my damn house down. You're gonna make a family... You're gonna go make a family meal. Okay, what, what, what? Wow. He's like, I'm gonna go make a family meal. We just left this on the floor. And now it's floating in my trash can. What are you making? You're making eggs and toast. She was gonna make eggs and toast. Well, whatever. She can still make eggs and toast. It's Flower Bunny Festival! We should age the babies up and then take them. They're, they have not aged up on their own. Their birthday was yesterday. Thank you very much. The game is like, are you going to age your kids up? Oh. He needs to sleep, but we need to uh, take care of these bastards. 
He just put his food down. He like I was gonna do this afterward. Change her diaper, and then I think she's the first one in the panel, so I'll age her up first. I mean, baby care, age up. We'll age her up. And then we're going to see what she's going to be, because I don't think there's any rules about what they are. She is sunny. That makes fucking sense. Poor choices. Baby care. Age up cloud. All right. And then you can go pee. Cloud is going to be wiggly. <laughs> That's funny. And he's blonde. Um, that's hilarious. Actually. That cloud is blonde. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, God! Work revealed. Snuggly sleeper. Aerith prefers to fall asleep while being held. They both unlocked a smile. Okay, hold on. Let's go into build mode. Can we move our babies? Okay, I need to. This is going to be hard to do with child build blah, 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 with babies in the way. Um, you know what? I'm going to just put this here. We need to find a children. We need to find infants and toddlers. We'll get a changing table. We're not going to get too too much. Oh, I know. Hold on a second. Colors. We need to do white, gray. I will do. I'm just going to see if we can just keep things like that. Oh my god, look at this little fucking rug. You know what? We need this one. And we need this one, but this one needs to be bigger. We need to put that one there, and then we put this one like... There you go. Um, We'll get some toys out. Get a sheepy toy. Miss Kitty. Of course we need a Miss Kitty. We can get, like, these guys, too. Sure. Um, let's see. We need... We don't need a potty yet, because they freaking infants. We need... I want a changing table first before I do anything, but I can't seem to, like... We really only have... Oh, well, this one's fine. This mission one. Because it's either that, that one matches all the things that we have, but it's not. That one's kind of grayish. It's like a blue-gray. That one's not really... That one's like a tan gray. It is gray, but it's like very tannish to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think it's the front doors are kind of... I'm like, the blue-gray to me is a little less bothering me. I don't know. Anyway... Um, let's see. That's for toddlers. Let's get some beds. That's cute. It's like a little pink. Oh, this is exactly what we need. Bland, boring, basic white. And gray. There you go. Perfect. Look at that. And what else do toddlers need? What else do toddlers? What else do infants need? Just put a little thing of books up there in the middle. We got toys that we'll put all over the floor. Um, we don't need a ton of shit. We can put this little bookcase over here on this wall. Um. Oops. Oops, I just want to move this out. I don't want it in the freaking wall. Then we can put some, like... Our toys can't go on the top of that. That's useless. Okay, let's just go and get a bookcase or some shit. Oh, wait. They go against the wall, though. Yeah, they kind of do. Do they stack on top of each other? Because we can make our own bookcase... There we go. 
We can't put books inside of it, though. They don't, books don't go on top of it. These are useless. They're like there, but you can't put anything on them. What the fuck is the point of these? Do it yourself, cubbies, but you can't put anything on them. I can't put toys or anything on them. What the fuck? That's like so annoying. Oh. Great, now they're in my household inventory. Oh my god, how annoying is that? That's not what I freaking wanted. I want something I can actually put shit on. <laughs> fucking obnoxious. They're cute, but they're useless. You know what I mean? Okay, well, this could work. Our freaking child room is so boring, but it's okay. There you go. We can just put some shit on top. I know we could put, like, the baby stuff, but, like, I am not concerned about that too much. Like, too much. Oh, we gotta get one of those little baby, the little, like, playmat things for downstairs. But the only problem with that is, um, there's not gonna be a white one. Okay. Um, let's go back to... Oh, we can do... I know, this room is so narrow and, like, awful. Put this guy there. We can... Oh, giant. Got like a teddy bear guy. Jelly bear? <gasps> you just get a little a zebra. And he can kind of sit here. And where's the other guy that I was looking at? Oh, octopus can go here. How cute is this? You can get this little guy. A pile of teddies and stuff. A rocking horse. That's probably for infants. To be fair. Um... Could just put a toy box over here. Not that they're going to use it, really, to be fair, but okay. And we could. I was like, oh my god, our living room's so small because I was in the kitchen and I got very confused. Um, we need to find the infant. I think I'm going to have to take off our freaking colors, which is annoying because I don't think we're going to. And put one of these down here in case the babies are down here. These. I kind of just need like a basic ass white one, but we don't have a basic ass white one. Okay, like, you know what? To be fair, that's like the lightest one that we have. I know we got two kids, but like, I don't think we got room to put two of those. So it's going to have to be like. One kid plays in it and the other one's doing something else and like whatnot. Look at you. Why are you a dork? Why are you happy little octopus guy? We'll put you down here too. There's some more toys down here. It's okay. Uh well koala bear. And sit over here. He's gonna have like lots of like freaking toys goddamn everywhere. He's blue, but it's okay. You can sit up here. This is what it looks like when you have kids or you live with me. There's just shit everywhere. Those are all for like toddlers and stuff. I don't think infants can play with a lot of, I mean, I think they've got enough. I don't think there's anything else that they really need because it's just that little play mat and the things. Okay, so. Play, you're exhausted. We'll have to give the kids makeovers in the next part. I'm. Oh, you can hunt for an egg, and then you can take a nap. Oh, why don't you actually talk to your child instead of taking a nap? Um. Oh, Aerith's just sleeping on the floor. Uh. Oh, never mind. They're both sleeping. So I'm gonna wrap this part up here. Does she have a job? I'm going to get her a job. I kind of feel like she should. Because I don't feel like she'd be... She needs to be, like, in the business career or some shit. She looks like a business lady, doesn't she? Let's see. We'll get you a job in the business career. Mailroom tech. Sure. I kind of don't feel like she would just be a mailroom tech. But 
Because we're going to peace out and take the kids and the money and everything like that and leave her high and dry. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, I don't want her bringing them, like, too, too much money. You know what I'm saying? So. But I do feel like she should have a job. Well, and that's it, too. Like, she's got, like, a... I would have said she's got more than just, like, entry-level position type of a thing. But... And she's focusing on her career. He's focusing on his, but he's not paying attention to her. But, like, he's focused on his career and the kids. You know? So, who sneezes? Frequently sneezes. Loud is a frequent sneezer. Sure. Great. He's a sneezy child. Let's play, let's do tummy time. No, not you. You, tummy time. More choices. Baby care. Um, no, wait, is it is it friendly? Oh, it's under activities. There it is. I don't remember where it is. Anyway, he's like gonna whatever. I'll give them makeovers when we come back. I do find it funny that Cloud's blonde. Because <laughs> Cloud is blonde. I might actually have a cloud hair in here, not for infants or toddlers or anything, but for like why did you not do what I told you? Anyway, it's fine. We're going to wrap this part up here. I'll give them makeovers and everything in the next part and whatnot. So I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.